Hi everyone, welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix. Welcome. I do fun planty videos of my found knowledge, and then I share a plant vlog on Wednesdays of my uh, weekly, daily life, and also uh, a little bit of my uh, small business content, just like what I do around uh, to prepare for like orders and um, also other little miscellaneous uh, fun things like that. If that's something that you like, uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, comment down below. Let me know how you like the video. And if you like it, leave a like and um, help me grow my channel. Really appreciate that. In today's video, I'm going to uh, talk to you about uh, Begonia Maculata. I'm a big Begonia fan. I love Begonias um, and I always like improving on my found knowledge and then I also like sharing that with other people as well. And today we're kind of like troubleshooting pro propagation and then I'm also going to talk to you about how you could restart your plant. So basically what I'm doing is taking this plant that is a little bit leggy and as you see there is um, some really good growth going on here, here, and there is some new growth emerging from here. And if you look at it close up, um, there's all these nodes which are all which are referred as two knuckles and then in each knuckle it does have a little growth point from that so as I am taking back a propagation uh, part of the begonia I uh, of the begonia maculata I um, am allowing that energy that is also stored in the roots because it does have a well developed root system push out new growth in those little knuckles and nodes that has been my theory this whole this whole time and it's really been working um, I have now made two new plants this is the most recent one and it does have a little growth in there um, and then this is the other one the first one that I did I have made um, it has taken um, a week for each propagation to well yeah almost a week or so and then there is I'm gonna put this down before I drop it so in the first one um, you see there this is the original leaf and I'm gonna let you guys know uh, your original leaf will look damaged it's gonna look a little funky but you just gotta work with it and you just gotta like let it be you just gotta like let it chill on it a little bit and just like acknowledge that it's 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 fine um in this original leaf you see there's like a hole and it's uh little brown and everything it's fine it's okay um your original leaf will be like that if you find original leaves that are like in top condition they're gonna get messed up anyways um <laughs> but I'll, overall just like don't worry about it and then know that it's pushing new growth as um, it's growing and it's directing energy where it needs to be directed and so um, as you see it goes from this leaf to this leaf to this leaf but it also goes a little bit further down here's those little growth points as well I'm basic so my my care routine for watering is very low maintenance I'm always constantly doing something and um, I'm busy so I really need to have that at a very low maintenance and everything has been amended with um, biochar uh, willow biochar uh, that stuff is really good um, and like I think it's it's just it's really great I've also used it in whenever somebody picks up a plant from me and like I've uh, repotted their plant or uh, just like gave, gave them some soil if they need some soil so I'll so I'll amend that soil so you can try it as well um, it's just really good and plus I really think a lot of people would enjoy a low maintenance watering routine you don't really have to you don't really have to water it's like 50% less watering so that's amazing and 10% into your 
into like a four four uh four inch pot and then like temp and then it'll be still 10 percent for your six inch pot um, if you use a little bit too much it will retain a little bit too much moisture and it will uh, rot out your plant that happened to my uh, Zabrina uh, I believe I showed y'all in my vlog um, in one of my vlogs so if y'all like to check that out go ahead I'll probably edit this and make it a little bit shorter um, but yes uh, so First, we're going to talk about the structure of your plant. Your plant, original leaf, new leaf, stem. And then this little wispy part over here, that's your knuckle, that's your node. Underneath it is where you want to cut it. So that is not where I, I, I don't believe this is ready. It's still pushing out this new growth until these both, uh, until those both leaves are a little bit more mature I can start cutting it from there and then it'll transfer that it'll start to transfer that energy uh, during that mean meantime to the stem and have like some growth points so from from when it's cut it doesn't uh, rely on like foliage in order for it to create energy for itself this is all my theory and um, I just get a little nerdy with with plants sometimes and that's what I think my 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 theory that's what I think um, this is the third this is the third propagation from it this little guy is hanging out with his buddy uh, in this um, jar so it's in there um, and when you and actually like begonia cuttings uh, help root your plants uh, it, this this the the Maranta already had roots, but the root systems the roots were like nubby and tiny. But ever since I've placed this uh, a couple days ago, they've just kind of like been going off. So uh, they're they're like pothos. They uh, emit a lot of like rooting hormone. In those little jars, I got them from my friends uh, from my my friend's plant shop. Uh, if y'all saw one of my one of my videos in the past, I'll probably put little links up in in the corner for y'all. Uh, for the vlogs, uh, but that's I, I got the the little macrame hanger with those jars from my friend's plant shop, uh, and she shipped it out, and she even shipped me out a plant. Like plants are tough. I'm gonna just ramble a little bit on that. I didn't know she was gonna surprise me with a plant, but I found it in my closet, and here it is. Um. Yeah, it's still going and it, it didn't have this little growth point at all. So I'm so excited. I don't even know what it is. Uh, I just, I unraveled it and it was like this black stem and wrapped up in a, uh, in clear plastic. So <laughs> it said a gift for you. And I was like, oh, that was for me. But yeah, so I'm. Um, uh, that's this is what I this is how uh, my theory um, my process and then um, and now I'm going to show y'all um, how to I know I said earlier I probably wouldn't do this but I'm gonna experiment and see if that leaf will unfurl still if I propagate it so I'm gonna show y'all um, how I do it and then here's a close-up before I get started on how on what I was talking to you all and as you see where I made those cuts uh, there is new growth emerging from it uh, this would be the the node you would want to cut it underneath but you don't want to cut this if it doesn't have any growth showing from the top and I'm and the reason why is because it will die and to show you all I actually tried it because I want to know curious like that and it had another part right in here 
but it uh, died off. So, just a fair warning. As you see here, there's okay. If you see real close right there, uh, you can see the little growth point. This will be a good. This would be a good section where you could start uh, cutting it from. That would be a good section where you can start cutting it from, but you would only want to start doing that when you really have some growth emerging from it. Because when you start cutting it from um, around this time when it's like that, uh, you're not going to have uh, very much of a success from for your propagation. Um, as you see, this one's not ready either, so. And then so y'all see where we're going to propagate it from we're going to propagate it right in between here right there actually so you see that little green part. It's going to come with the the plant. My theory is uh, is is like if you cut right here, uh, this won't have enough uh, like stem like uh, mature stem for it to contain like the energy for it to transfer to the leaf that's just my theory so i would like y'all's feedback on that like what do y'all think like is that something that y'all think is that's possible or is that just like in my head so i'm going to show y'all where i'm going to cut it As you see, that's where I'm going to cut it. And there you have it. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to take the propagation from it and then um, basically like scale it down and then let it grow back out. Um, I've done that before with uh, begonias and other plants and they've always come back like really like really good like so uh, that's just my way of, of going about it uh, next I am going to just keep this in Here is the propagation, everybody. So y'all see. For me, this is an experiment because you know, like it still has like this little develop, develop developing leaf, but it has a new growth point coming out of it. And that's why um, I'm trying it, you know? It has a lot of good stuff going on there, so. I hope y'all like the like um, the video that I the I hope you like this video. I, I'm I'm actually really enjoying like sharing all this with y'all. Like I think it's really fascinating, and I hope y'all think it's really fascinating too. If there's any questions of anything, y'all can always um, leave a comment on what y'all um, have a question about, and I'll try to get back to you. There he is. He's sharing a home with. Um, some string of hearts and that's how far I have it in the water I do have some in because uh, sometimes the leaves do fall off 
that's just natural so you're probably going to experience that and then those leaves that fall off I actually try to pro propagate them as well so I'm just get, keeping them in this cash pot just I'm doing uh, leaf propagation and two stem propagations this one's fairly new this one has been in there for like a couple days They feel a little, uh, I just do a little like tug test on them because I know they have like really gentle roots. Um, and so that's how I, that's how I test it. So they go from, they go from being in the water to going into the soil. Um, and they go into the soil um, after they start really showing some um, roots like uh, one inch long roots actually so that way I'm like really positive that they're gonna like survive and then um, I prepare the soil with willow and that's how um, and then they come like this I think that's so amazing. That's so cool. But yeah, I would like to um, start trading more. So I'll be doing more trades. I really want to find more like exotic um, rare begonias. Um, but yeah. All right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Um, I know it was really short and brief, uh, but I believe there was some really good knowledge involved in there and there was something that you all could learn um, that I learned as well. And as I said before, I like sharing my knowledge and I think it's very helpful. So I really appreciate you all for subscribing and supporting my channel and also my plant shop. Uh, we have a lot of new things going on, so I would really appreciate it if y'all go check it out. Um, and if you subscribe to my new newsletters, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna do a brief shout out to everybody that has supported my channel. Thank you, um, everyone from Tennessee, uh, Florida, Texas, um, Washington, Mississippi, um, you all have been great uh, everyone has been amazing um, and also my local residents uh, Dallas people have been awesome so I really appreciate everybody it's a brief shout out uh, but thank you all uh, y'all take care out there peace everyone